Hello, my name is Tanner Babcock. Uh, this is my final project presentation for my data structures class. Here's my, uh, my GitHub repository for it. It's called Video Store. It's just github.com slash Babcock slash Video Store. And uh, I think to start off, I'll run these tests quite a few unit tests for my video store application. And I'll run these in QT Creator here. We got 10 passes. Now I'll launch the actual application. Now, when video store first starts, it's gonna, you're gonna see a window like this. I'm going to go ahead and reset the database. Click on reset database there. Uh, this application prints a lot to a uh, standard output. So I'll go ahead and restart. As you can see, after resetting the database, my uh, cash register has reset to $50 and there's total of four films in the database and if you turn on print debug messages uh, this application will just print all kinds of stuff to the standard output so if I wanted to look at film rentals I'll just click on rentals here Now if I wanted to look at the existing films that are for rent, I'm going to change this uh, ID here to 1 and I'm going to click find film to edit. And this will bring up the the rental form. It's loaded persona by Ingmar Bergman. That's a uh, film rental ID number 1. So I can discard changes and go back to the rentals window. If I want to look at ID number two, that's going to be uh, Faces by John Cassavetes. Then I'll discard changes. can set this to zero and also find a film by, uh, by its title. And type the title there and click Find Film to Edit. and It will find the film for you. But I'm going to add a new film. I'm going to click Add Film for Rent and add a new film to the, to the Rentals database. The ID is going to say zero here because the, in the database the ID column has an auto increment. <clears throat> the name of this film is going to be Satan's Tango, <laughs> directed by Bella Tarr. Came out. 1994 and it's going to be expensive because it's a almost eight hour movie it's going to be 12 bucks and there's going to be uh, two copies available now I'm going to click save changes to film now this says successfully inserted film rent number two down here in the standard output there. So if I wanted to clear that out, and now if I wanted to edit the film rental that I just inserted into the database, I would uh, set this to number three, find film to edit, and there's the, the film that I just put into the database. Satan's Tango by Bella Tarr. And this is the rentals window. This is where you can add, add new film rentals to the rentals table or edit existing film rentals. I can return and this is the main menu. Now I'm going to look at purchases now. <clears throat> I want to find the, uh, the purchase with ID number one. And that is this. Seventh Seal by Ingmar Bergman. Discard changes. Here's Opening Night by John Cassavetes. That's number two. And if I wanted to 
edit this, edit the existing film, just change that, type Nick, Nick Cassavetes. And I'll do a save changes to film. Now let's give me that. Still says opening night. There still is a bug in here that I'm going to fix tonight before I <laughs> I turn it in, but uh, so some of these changes were saved in the database, so that means that I can close the application and then uh, and then start it up again. Now you can see total films in database five because I inserted a new uh, film rental. If I wanted to go to check out films, here's the shopping cart. If I wanted to check out film rental number one, one quantity, I'll click add to cart and that will tell me that I am renting number one Persona by Ingmar Bergman costs $6.99, quantity is one. And that updates the subtotal field here, the tax field, the 6% sales tax here, and the final total is right here. And if I wanted to uh, add my new film rental that I just added to my, uh, my shopping cart, I'll add both copies, click Add to Cart, now you can see renting number three, Satan's Tango by Bellatar. It's eleven ninety nine. So the shopping cart takes the price per copy and multiplies that by the quantity, and then it puts that in the subtotal. And so now the total amount due. If I wanted to uh, rent <laughs> rent two copies of Satan's Tango. That's <laughs> so that's probably like 10 VHS tapes <laughs> and uh, one copy of Persona, you know, for the cool down, that's going to be 32.83. And then to, if I want to confirm this order, it needs a customer name. Uh, Hello world. Now I'm going to click confirm order here and a lot of stuff just happened and it closed the shopping cart window but look at the the output the debug messages down here customer name was set to hello world order is being confirmed it prints the total there I have this test test shopping cart item that's only 99 cents so I guess if you're a new customer to the video store you have to pay an extra 99 cents there but see it added persona that's a shopping cart item and Satan's Tango another shopping cart item so if I close out of that and then bring up the video store again as you can see now <clears throat> Since I confirmed that order in my shopping cart, uh, the numbers for cash register is updated, and the profits have also updated. If I want to go to rentals and uh, edit the film rental that I put into the database and look at it, I'll do find film to edit. Now there's only one left, it seems, so that's still there. If I wanted to add a new film for purchase, I could do uh, um, Dogville, Lars von Trier, 2003, $7.99, three copies. Hit Save Changes to Film. It prints successfully added film Dogville. And now I'm going to look up film ID number three, and it shows me Dogville by Lars von Trier. So now I can do another shopping cart. I'll just do a, a sale this time. And I'll bring up the film that uh, I just put in, Dogville, quantity is one. 
As you can see now it says I'm buying number three, Dogville by Lars von Schreer. Also going to add a, I'm going to buy a ID number two, which is opening night. <clears throat> so now it has computed the uh, subtotal is 1698 the tax is a dollar and two cents and the total is eighteen dollars exactly customer name is John Doe now if I type if I click on confirm order I'm gonna click that now this cash register field doesn't update right away but uh, but it did receive the order. So we'll close out of that and bring up uh, the video store again. And as you can see, the cash register field and the uh, profits field have been updated, and there are now six films in the database. If we wanted to look at this database file. We could go uh, to this build directory here and app SQLite 3 read only video store dot SQL. Now if I wanted to type select from film rent Those are, the, those are all of the films that are in the film rent table. And as you can see, it says, hello world. That was the last customer to, uh, to rent those. <laughs> now I'll type select star from film sale. And those are all of the films that are for sale. So you can see John Doe is right there. And you can see Satan's Tango and Dogville two of the films that I just put in on this video. And uh, this database has three tables, one called Film Rent, one called Film Sale, and one called Transactions. And I'm going to look at the Transactions table. And these are all of the transactions. I mean, I opened the shopping cart twice and I uh, confirmed two orders using the shopping cart. And uh, this first transaction is just $50. The next transaction is uh, the first time I confirmed the order. And the third transaction is the uh, second time that I confirmed the order. So we can get out of that. The video store also allows for commands line arguments. So you can run video store directly like that. Bring up the video store there. But if you wanted to use a different database file, video store and uh, hello.sql, it will say using database file hello.sql. And now it says cash register 50, profits 0, total films in database 4, because it's using the uh, a new database file now. But if I close out of that, now there's this new file, hello.sql. And if I just run video store again, it uses video store.sql as the default file name. And it will just bring up uh, you know, 99, 99, and 6 like it was before. So yeah, here's all of the code. Here is the base film class which is at the very, very core of this application. It has a lot of constructors. Here's this film rent class, which is derived from the film class. It also has a lot of constructors. Here's the film sale class, also derived from the film class and all of its constructors there. Here's the database uh, header file. I put the contents of this header file in my final project report. 
Here's shoppingcart.h. The shopping cart uses this uh, struct. It doesn't use a class. This is an old style uh, struct with bit fields as the shopping cart item. And then the shopping cart class, which is based on Q main window, uh, it has a vector of shopping cart items. And that is the shopping cart. Here's all of the other fields that appear in the shopping cart window. And Here's all of the methods for shopping cart. Here's all of my database code for uh, creating the database and also seeding the database with uh, the sample data, the four films, and the one transaction that uh, get put into the database by default, and also some code to reset the database for when you click Reset Database. That stuff is here. Here's main.cpp. This is my main function. Well, anyway, guys, that's my final project. I hope I get a good grade. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video of me uh, talking about my final project and showing how to use it. Uh, yeah, check it out clone my repository. <laughs> I did have a lot of fun making this and uh, thank you.